In this video, we're going to talk about getting and using images in Google Drawings. Your image options are up here in your toolbar. Um, so we have a couple of options. We can upload any image that we've downloaded from our computer. We can search Google right in Google Drawings to find fair use images that we can use. And then we also have the ability to access the, anything from our drive, Google Photos, if we had the link to a photo, or we can actually turn on our camera um, and use that option. Okay. Um, so if you have an image on your computer, um, you can use the upload from computer option and it'll give you this downloads folder. So whatever um, images that you've downloaded right, will be here in your downloads. We can also get images by searching the web. All right. So here we've searched for a geometric pattern and we can pick this one and insert it. You can also insert by just double clicking on the image. All right, so we just searched for what we were looking for. Um, in this case, it was just a geometric pattern, all right, and now we have our image. Um, so just like all objects, your images can be reordered, right? So if I sent it to the back, um, now it lives behind um, everything else that I've created. Right. Another interesting thing that we can um, do with our any image is to use our formatting options. Right. So we can change the size or rotate our object. Um, if we wanted to be very specific about dimensions, all right. We can also change the position. So if we knew exactly where on the ruler we wanted our image to live, we could do that. We can also use generic options as well. Right. Um, we can recolor our image. So if you had something that was able to be recolored, and sometimes there are no new options here. Um, and in this case, it doesn't really make sense to recolor it. But if you had something that was very basic, you could recolor it with most images. Um, other adjustments that we can do, we can change the transparency. So again, if we wanted our object to be less um, solid so that um, when it's, let's say for example, you know, we wanted it to be in the background, all right, if it's not, if it's, this is a little bit more vibrant and it kind of like distracts, but if we change the transparency, all right, then it becomes just blends into the background. All right, we can also adjust brightness. So if we want to kind of blow the image brightness out or darken it, um, that's a little too dark, we could do that, all right? And we can also create contrast within the image. So again, you can make these adjustments based on what you're trying to accomplish with the image. What is the image's role on your drawing, okay? And if you um, are unsure, <laughs> you can just click reset and it'll just reset it back to its original status. We can also create drop shadows, right? This gives the um, shape more dimension, right? And you can play around with um, the color. So again, you can do some really cool custom things. So if I move the distance so then you can see it a little bit better, then we can change the angle right? So depending on where we wanted that shadow to appear and then how um, transparent or non-transparent we want that shadow to be. So you can create some really interesting things and if you don't want the drop shadow just unclick it and then we can also create a reflection of our image where it'll create um, a reflection and we can also adjust how transparent that reflection is, the distance away from the object, and then also the size. So how much of the original image is reflected. Right? And if then you don't want that reflection, you can just simply uncheck it. And those are our format options for images. And that's every image. Right, so any image that you add 
you have those options and it'll do different things depending on the image. All right, another interesting just stylistic option is that you can create a border on your images. So if you wanted them to stand out a little bit more, um, you could do that. All right, we can also mask images. So everyone knows about cropping an image where we would just crop the image into a square or a rectangle. All right, um, but next to that is um, the crop image option is the mask image option. So when we click that drop down, it actually looks very similar to our shapes drop down, right? Um, so our shapes drop down is over here. We're not creating a shape. We're going to turn our image into a shape and this works with all images. So if I wanted this to be a star, for example, all right, once I click off of it, then I can see what that looks like to have masked that image as a star. And again, I can, you know, play around with um, borders and things like that. So that's what it looks like as a star. All right, and you can have, you know, a little bit of fun with this. So if you wanted it to be um, like your banner, for example, um, where then it could live, you know, behind your title or something like that. And then we can also adjust um, the image to meet our needs. So that's actually masking the image. You can play around with placement and things like that. And again, border color, no border color, and all of your format options. So maybe I decide that I like this, but it needs to be more transparent, right? and I can play around with it like that. So that is just some information about images in Google Drawings.